what do I risk? I risk losing myself, right? The gamer who sits down there and he's playing games or she's playing games, right? And you're on World of Warcraft, you know, a good RPG or, or uh, whatever it is that you get into, a first-person shooter. And um, um, Peter Chow actually has a great funny video about his girlfriend being mad that he's playing the new Black Ops or whatever it was. And, you know, 10, 15 hours go by. You neglect people around you. Right? That you run a risk of destroying yourself because you are consumed by this thing. This thing has got you. It's got you in its power. It's embraced you, right? And you're, and you're part of it. You are the game, right? When you're at that level of immersion, for you gamers, you know what I'm talking about. When you're at that level of immersion, everything disappears. You don't have to use the bathroom. You're not hungry. You're in the game. You are the game. You and the game are one, right? You, as we said, and I think I wasted every, it, it's just this, mer it's just this fusion. They're no longer separate, um, uh, decipherable things. It's all one collective thing. In my appreciation of the cathedral, I, I, you know, like, wow, now it's just me. It's, I'm in awe of this cathedral. When I sit down and, uh, and I, read, uh, I read great texts, right, I'm like, how did he come up with that? How did she? I would have never thought the way she thought. How does, how does, how does her mind work? That's what I'm interested in. Yeah, you read the text, you know, but when you're at my level, you know, everybody writes well. I'm not, in, I'm not impressed, really, by words per se. How did you come to that idea? I don't see that connection. That's amazing, right? And I, you, you lose yourself in that for a while, right? So you risk, you risk obliterating, destroying yourself. But not only do you risk destroying yourself, the form, right, the form which is attempting to actualize itself in work and this is the part that's difficult to understand but I'll, I'll return to the example that's trying to actualize itself in work requires a lot of burden a lot of sacrifice from you right what does that second half mean so I think the first half makes sense the second half now what is the sacrifice that the form has for me imagine that I'm not just regular Joe Schmo I'm going to New York and let's say I'm a photographer and I'm, and I'm specifically going out to New York to find you know, cool images in Times Square that's other than the big flashy billboards and advertisement to buy crap. Actually, one of the greatest things that I've seen um, as far as aesthetically, and it's because I'm probably aesthetically deprived, but I thought it was super cool in the movie, is the scene in American Beauty where uh, you have the bag, like that plastic bag, and it's like two minutes. I think it starts, the movie starts like this, and I might actually go watch that tonight because the movie is amazing, right? So I think the movie starts with a dude filming a, a garbage bag, and the bag's just floating. It's doing this thing. It's like, holy, this is genius. Genius. The dude shot video of a plastic garbage bag and, and transcended and just destroyed, obliterated everything that you knew about garbage bags. <laughs> or yourself, right? It was, it was amazing, right? So if, imagine the, 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 the photographer goes to New York and she's trying to she's trying to scout for areas and, and she's looking and, she's, and she stops and initially her job she'd be like start to take pictures and, blah, blah, blah. and she looks she looks at she looks at the cathedral and she recognizes that no matter what she does no matter how she takes this image she'll never be able to reproduce the beauty in in, in, in picture she won't she recognizes it and there's a sense of remorse, there's a sense of loss, right? And what she experiences is the same thing that all of us artists, and I consider myself an artist, the same thing that we all experience is a bit of remorse because I know no matter how hard I try, I will never be able to attain the beauty of the structure, right? The awe is driving me, it's driving her, right? This 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 thing, this all, is it, it's on the verge of destroying all of us. Right? When you get to this level, because you are completely obsessed with it, there is nothing else. Right? It's completely in control. And there's a remorse because you recognize that all I am trying to do as art, man is art, man is thou, and that thou as art, all of that interchangeably, all I'm trying to do is reproduce that all, reproduce that beauty, right? reproduce that in the world. But no matter how 
good I am, I will never be as good as the first experience that I had. Right? And that's, you know, that's, there's a bit of remorse in that, right? But there's also some beauty. So, um, quick side note, that basically ends uh, Boober. Super cool stuff. Love it. Having a blast reading them again. Um, I was, I don't speak Portuguese, so if any of you speak Portuguese, um, I think it was Astrid Goberto, if I say her name right. There, I think there's a word in Portuguese for, for like a beautiful sadness. If any of you speak Portuguese and know the term for like a happy, sad, beautiful, sad, sort of this conflation of happy and sad, could you send me a message or write the name of that word in the in the comment? Um, I think there's a word in, in Portuguese for sort of this fusion of happy and sadness. We don't have a word in English for that. Um, it's It becomes darker, it becomes more melancholy, it's not that, right? It's We need like happy and sadness. If there is a word for happy and sadness in Portuguese, just leave a comment, send me something because I'm gonna, you know, I got a whole bunch of ideas after reading Boober of stuff that I'm gonna do and I would like to know that word. If there is a word, I heard from someone that there is a word in Portuguese. So anyway, with that being said, uh, a little spacey on the, uh, a little spacey on the lecture, but this is Boober. Uh, I want to thank you for taking the time and, uh, and watching whatever that was. <laughs> with that being said, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell. Goodbye.